Hello guys, a new update is available for my Blender 2.8 add-on FastCarve. I updated the UI of the primitive mode and adding primitives is much simpler now. So I start the primitive mode and here on the left side you can see the new UI. It is cleaner and you can see the actions are drawn in blue so that you can recognize them better. What I also fixed for the primitives is snapping to the grid. I snap the view and then I create a circle. The center I set to the mouse position and grid snapping is enabled. And here you can see the center of the circle is snapped to the grid and I change the number of segments by using the scroll wheel of the mouse. Ok, after the circle or this shape is created, I press the G key to move it and here you see that the grid snapping is really exact. And with this option you can create symmetrical cuts easily. But let's have a look at the Python code and I want to show you how this new UI is actually implemented. I added a Python class called Action which has an ID, a title and a content. A shape, which is the primitive, has a list of actions. Whenever the state of a primitive changes, the action list is rebuilt. This is done in the method buildActions in the base class, they are just cleared. But in the subclasses of the shape, for example the circle shape, the method buildActions is called for the base class and then a list of actions is created. In most cases if an action is added depends on the state of the primitive. So I implemented a method addAction for which you can use a state or a combination of states as parameter and only if this is true or the parameter is none, the action is added to the action list. In the primitive mode operator, I implemented a method called drawActionLine which draws the action onto the screen or the text of the action. And in the drawCallback2D method I loop over the actions for the current primitive and then call the method drawActionLine for each action. Ok, but that's not all. You can open the primitive mode now without specifying a target or without having an object selected. But what's the use case here? There's a new option called Fill that is enabled by default and that defines that a face will be added when the primitive is created but now I disable this and also the option Extrude. Then I go ahead and create a primitive, for example a polyline and after I created this I only get an outline. And this can be quite useful to create interesting shapes because now I can switch to the vertex selection mode, select the vertex and then for instance create a bevel by pressing Ctrl, Shift and B. And I do this for some other vertices as well and then I press F to fill and E to extrude. Then you can bevel the object and this is a quite easy way to create an interesting primitive. Ok, let's create another one and start with a circle this time. For the center I use the 3D cursor and the number of segments are set to let's say 42. Again I don't extrude or fill and I get the outline of the circle and select this part here in vertex selection mode and remove it. Then I select just one vertex and make sure that I have absolute grid snapping enabled. And now you can use the basic features of Blender to create an interesting shape, asymmetrize it for the x-axis and add again bevels to the outer vertices. I fill the mesh and extrude like I did for the previous one and the result is this object. And if you like you can go ahead and use this new object as your target and cut for example a hole into this. Ok guys, these are the new features of FastCarve, I really hope you like it. If you have new ideas or questions add these to the comments and don't forget to subscribe to JNM if you haven't already. Thank you guys for your support if you support me on my Patreon, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.